we know that when magma comes out during a volcanic eruption it solidifies to form igneous rocks but all the magma cannot be exposed to the earth surface you can see that during a volcanic eruption some magma comes out of the earth surface but some magma cools inside the earth surface as well so you can say that some rocks form here while some rocks form inside the earth surface now when some magma comes out of the earth surface it cools very fast that is rapidly so igneous rocks that are formed here are cooled very rapidly while this magma that cools inside the earth surface cools very slowly and igneous rocks formed here that is in this part form very slowly so we have a special name for rocks who are formed above the earth surface that is extrusive igneous rocks what are extrusive igneous rocks rocks formed by the rapid cooling of the magma on the earth's surface so the igneous rocks that are formed on the earth's surface by the rapid cooling of the magma they will be termed as extrusive igneous rocks now basalt this is one type of extrusive igneous rock it is dark gray to black in color now you have seen road bases and railroad ballast now what are these made of these are nothing but made of crushed basalt now pumice this is also one type of igneous rock that is extrusive that is it is formed above the earth's surface now what is pumice used for pumice is used to exfoliate hard and dry skin and it is also used in making big structures now you already know that igneous rocks formed in this part that is over the earth's surface are called extrusive igneous rock now what about this part now rocks formed by the slow cooling of the magma beneath the earth's crust that is the rocks are formed by the slow cooling of the magma the magma cools very slowly here it cools beneath the earth's surface that is inside the earth's crust now these have a special name called intrusive igneous rocks so what are intrusive igneous rocks rocks formed by the slow cooling of magma beneath the earth's crust so this is extrusive igneous rocks and this is intrusive igneous rocks formation now what are the examples of igneous rocks well granite is an intrusive igneous rock now the famous sculpture in mount rushmore that is in south dakota is made up of granite so you can say that granite is widely used in making of sculptures now let me ask you a question now gabbro this is an igneous rock it is formed beneath the earth surface which kind of igneous rock is this extrusive igneous rock or intrusive igneous rock well this is intrusive igneous rock because it is formed by the slow cooling of magma beneath the earth surface now gabbro is used in making of tombstones so what did we learn today we learned that igneous rocks can be classified into extrusive igneous rock and intrusive igneous rocks